Hi, hello everyone. I'm Rosé Sánchez Todo from the Neuroelectric Research Team. And in this short video, I will summarize the work I was meant to present in the Non-Invasive Brain Stimulation uh, Conference this year, uh, which is a biologically realistic laminar neural mass modeling framework for transcranial electrical stimulation uh, that we're going to call TES for short. Right, so uh, the main challenges that we're planning to address with this issue is to understand how TES affects the brain and how to optimize its parameters in order to optimize brain function. In order to address the challenges, what we do is to model the brain as a network where each node represents uh, an area of the brain. Uh, and to describe the cortical laminar, laminar electrophysiology of, of each of these nodes, detailed compartment models are typically used, but they are computationally really expensive and uh, they are limited to representing uh, just few columns or cortical columns. Uh, on the other hand, neural mass models, uh, neural mass models uh, provide average representations of, of neural populations and they are applicable to larger cortical areas uh, and providing links to physiology, but they don't represent the laminar physics of current source density, local field potentials, or current, or current dipoles. Um, therefore, the objectives of this study are to represent the laminar physics um, using neural mass models and to represent uh, the laminar electrophysiological activity under TES. Right, then how do we target those uh, objectives? So, uh, in order to represent this laminar electrophysiologic, uh, electrophysiology, we based our model in laminar recordings of um, the prefrontal cortex of macaque monkeys in a working me memory task from the work of Andres Bastos' group. Uh, and what they found is that there are uh, slow oscillations in deep layers, uh, fast oscillations in superficial layers, which is also found in other studies, and that there's uh, thriving uh, from deep to superficial layers. So this is the model that we used in order to simulate that. We call it laminar neural mass model. And uh, it is composed of a Janssen tweet neural mass model in deep layers, oscillating in alpha band, and a pyramidal interneuron gamma model, or thin model, uh, in superficial layers, oscillating in, in gamma band. And, uh, we also created a link between uh, them in order to simulate this drive from deep to superficial layers. So this is the physiology. What about the physical properties of this model, right? So, uh, okay. So in order to represent um, these physical properties, uh, we assign locations to apical and basal dendritic tufts of pyramidal populations and track the currents generated by synaptic inputs, which are derived from the memory uh, perturbations of the neural mass model. So then a plane interface model is used to calculate the electrostatic potential uh, contribution uh, from each current monopole and summed using the superposition principle. Uh, and then the electric field and the current source density or, and the dipoles are derived from this, measure, from this measurement here. Um, right, so in order to achieve the second objective, we just implemented uh, the well-known lambda E model, uh, which is a membrane perturbation of the pyramidal populations that depends on the geometry and the angle, the respective angle with the electric field uh, of the pyramidal um, populations together uh, and also depends on the amplitude of the simulation. Basically, that's what we see here. So, okay, uh, having this said, let's see the results. So here we can see the simulated dipole activity and its power spectral density with a peak in alpha and, and gamma band, which is what we uh, expected since our generators are oscillators in these frequency bands. And here we can see the voltage traces, the simulated voltage traces, filtered in alpha and in gamma, and the relative power um, for each of the layers. So uh, this is replicating, again, the laminar recordings from the Bastos et al, Bastos group, where we see that there's a predominance of gamma activity in superficial layers and alpha or slow activity in the deep layers. So what about the couplings between them? We decided to plot the Granger causality, the, modula the modulation index, phase amplitude coupling coupling and amplitude amplitude coupling between them. And we see that actually there's a drive uh, from deep to superficial layers in the alpha band 
there's a positive uh, modulation index in theta plus coupling uh, from deep alpha to superficial gamma, uh, and the negative amplitude amplitude coupling from deep alpha and superficial gamma as well, and it's replicating again all this monkey data that, uh, well, from Bastos group actually. Uh, and finally, what we see here is the amplitude of oscillations of neural population responses in the superficial and uh, deep layers in response to an altern alternating current uh, stimulation or electrical stimulation, uh, depending on the target frequency or amplitude. And here we have the Arnold tones or the resonance for each of these populations in the superficial layers, which they also oscillate in gamma, so we see the resonance in gamma and in a little bit of alpha, and the ones in the players, we see that they resonance in alpha. So, um, okay, so to conclude, uh, as we show, this laminar neural mass modeling framework provides a tool to develop fast specific models that match available in vivo monkey data, and uh, such models can also be generalized to, repu to reproduce the activity of cortical columns under transcranial electric stimulation in humans, um, in the hybrid brain model formalism, which may be used to further develop optimization algorithms and dosing of the scanner electrical stimulation. So that would be it. Thank you very much for your attention. You can see the poster that is uh, as well in the, in the web page with the same information. And don't doubt to contact me if you have any ideas or uh, questions. So I hope you like this presentation and you learned something new today. <laughs> Have a nice day.